Yes. Yes. Spend those pesos bucks. Give in to your hatred of Jeff Bezos. Or something. I don't know. I mean, it's not even with the company anymore, really, so. <laughs> oh, look, a band thing. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so here we are in After Hours, and we're probably not going to spend a whole lot of time here. Tay, what am I doing? Yay! Tay, why do you hate me? Well, I did say we weren't going to be spending a lot of time here. I didn't anticipate that it was going to be for quite this reason, but... Okay. If, if that's the way you want to play it. Tay wants me to be awake? No. Tay wants me to go to bed early, so she gave me a crap game that I'm going to die too fast. So I guess I should ear pet Tay and tell her thank you for... Giving me LOLK? See you, Sayon. Welcome back, Sayon. Give me bullets so I can graze them. Because I need life pieces.
Hi, we're going to put a resource mechanic in the game that requires you to put yourself in maximum danger all the time and punishes you for speed kills. Talk shit, get hit. I'm not purposely throwing, just in case anyone is entertaining that motion. That death annoyed me just about as much as it probably annoyed everyone else. Yeah, this is pretty much my bedtime anymore. Oh my god, Ringo, why? No, it's bad. Uh, I'm sorry. Look, look, look! I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Oh, oh, look, I only got 121 craze. Well, no life for me. Oh, what? Oh, I'm playing on easy to try and learn the game, and it's absolutely impossible to get craze half the time? Oh, oh, well, I guess I should just be playing on lunatic. And then I'd learn how trash the game actually is, and I could chuck it out the window and never look at it again. Nope, Zoon's bad at balancing, so... No, he didn't even give us that consideration. Everything about this game, mechanically, was a bad decision. Right from its failed premise. Let's make a Danmaku version of I Want to Be the God. be worse is if you die before it gives you the life piece, it invalidates it. 
you know, kind of like knew it before you know, she actually shows up. Yes, I am purposely breaking the rules, because honestly, you guys don't deserve a final round that dies in round two. People see in you, but for some reason they like you, so here they are. Oh, is that a wild copper in chat? Holy shit. I want to be the guy is just a terrible game. Because it's not really a game, it's punishment. It's hard for the sake of being hard. It's not hard because it needs to be. It's not hard because, you know, there, there's, you know, a, a legitimate reason. It's hard because they want you to suffer. And they made it as hard as it possibly could be to the point of adding trolls. And I don't think the entire, like, Kaizo genre is bad. Just the ones that purposely troll the players. So I've seen a number of Kaizo ROM hacks where they actually, while they require you know, extreme precision and, and really knowing what the fuck you're doing. They don't purposely punish for no reason. Like the, the fucking jump scare bullshit that's in the, the I Wanna Be games. bring up Wings of V again. Because although Solgren committed the absolute sin that was 
making I want to be the boss. Weakness of V is actually a legitimately good game. It just doesn't make up for the fact that he made I want to be the boss. watched all of Smoke Alokes playing through that game. And it, it's cool. I, 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 I accept Wings of V as a good game. It's incredibly brutal, but it also has other difficulty modes that make it less mean. And I never saw anything that was in it that was just absolutely stupid. It's definitely a genre that's not for everyone. And, and that in and of itself isn't a bad thing. You don't have to like every game that comes out. And even if there's, you know, e even if games aren't necessarily for you, if they're well done, you can at least acknowledge that while well, they weren't for you, they were well done. And then there's just games that shouldn't have ever existed. Although, you know, speaking of, you know, games that are purposely hard, reminds me of My Summer Cop, which, um, Someone asked him, you know, why he, someone asked Top Gun why he made that game and he, uh, the way he did. And he said, I didn't make this game to, to be fun. I made this game because it needed to be made. The reason, yeah, you know, I, I didn't fully read your sentence, THK, so, you know, correct me if I'm getting part of what you were saying wrong, but I, I think, I think the issue that I have with this game, specifically, isn't necessarily that it's, I want to be the guy in Don Rocky form. It's the fact that soon took a bullet hell series that's generally more approachable than others and gave it the difficulty level that it's never had that it never really needed 
Like, if I want to go play a cave game, I'll go play a cave game, not Toho. Cave games are arcade shooters. That that's the, that's the thing with cave is they're they're that genre of Donmaku, where they're designed to suck quarters. They're not there to be. Yeah. You've played Mushima. <laughs> Yay, Bug Princess. Yeah. The thing is, all of Cave's games are like that. They're well done games. But they are hard. On purpose. To make money. Though obviously not the, the PC versions, because the Yeah, yeah, what coppers. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to bring us to the end of this week's Weekly Toho Roulette. I hope that you've enjoyed the rounds this evening. Uh, as sleep-deprived as I am, uh, I, I did want to, to play. I mean, I don't want to have bad game rounds on purpose or anything. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but Toho 14 did it. The, the way Toho 14 did it didn't feel, yeah, maybe he overtuned it. I don't know. Yeah, Toho 14 felt fair. 15 does not feel fair. And I, I feel it makes it out of place. But it exists. It's a mainline game. Dude, Seiji was awesome. A as a gimmick, that was cool. At any rate, tune in next week on Saturday at noon Mountain Time for Alternate Boundary with Skylar Silver, where he plays Toho fan games. Always something interesting on that stream. And then, of course, we will be back at 8 p.m. Mountain Time that day for more weekly Toho Roulette. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually roll 19. Maybe it'll be months before it makes its debut. 
Who can say? You'll just have to tune in and find out. Thanks for watching. I hope that you have a good Labor Day weekend. If you are in the U.S., enjoy the day off if you get it. Enjoy the rest of your normal weekend if you are not getting the day off. We'll see you next time.